Yo, what it is, what it do, what's true? Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a gig coming up tomorrow and today's gonna be like an ops check of everything, all the equipment, make sure everything's flawless. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my bag and my drone lineup that I'm gonna bring tomorrow. And well, let's get into it. All right, this is the drone lineup right here. We've got, this is my, uh, I call it my risk it for the brisket drone. Uh, as you can see from the repairs on the GoPro mount that I really just send this drone, you know, I really just give her hell with this one. This is like my go-to if I'm going to be doing anything risky. So I'll probably be using this one mostly tomorrow. This is my princess drone. She stays the cleanest. And then this is my interior drone, my little whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, this one flies really good. And I've done a lot of practice with this one to get the right rates because flying something this small that gets affected by the wind that much is like kind of new to me, but I'm getting it down. And I like this one probably more than I like flying these just because of where you can fly this guy. Uh, with that being said though, I'm gonna show you the bag now. This is my FPV drone bag. Inside we got my radio. Underneath we've got tools, soldering station, pliers. We've got my goggles on the side. We've got the antennas underneath. And I've got my camera bag, everything camera is in here. And I've got spare parts, spare motors, spare flight controllers, props, uh, battery, pliers, all purpose. And then one of the things that not a lot of people use, but I use whenever I'm building or if I have to remake something like solder a motor, I don't want to fry it. So I use this guy all the time. And then my batteries, this is my battery case. And then flashlight in case it goes dark. That's the drone bag. Now, what I really look for is arm play. And like, if you put some muscle into it, because these things put out a lot of force. This arm is a little loose. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it flexes a little bit. And I usually just check all of them. So I know I'm gonna be tightening this one for sure. I'm gonna run a, a Allen key through all of them, but I'm definitely gonna, gonna um, tighten up this one. Check the bell housings, check the motor mounts, make sure that there's no play before we even fly today. See if we can prevent anything from going wrong. Because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So I'm gonna take that, oh, and she's bent. Look at that. Oh my days. Looks like someone showed you a good time, giggity. All right, let me stop. What I'm seeking out my eyes. I know I'm horrible I got caught up in actually um, doing the gig I got paid to come out here for that I forgot to vlog so uh, hashi tashi forgive me but I was chasing jet skis dog jet skis and uh, I'm not gonna lie I was hold on let me put the camera down for this I was so scared because like you don't get to land anywhere like that's all water so like if you get caught up in the mix which i did one time and you see that battery voltage say 20. dog the fear that went through my body when i saw 20 volts and i'm like 
where am I? Like, I need to land. And all you there is, all there is is Wata. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, here I am again, your humble servant. I come before you. Please carry my drone back to me. Because uh, I didn't strap no, like, water bottle to it. I just sent it. There was no flotation device. But, um... That was definitely awesome. I'm gonna see if I can work in getting the footage into this video because uh, it's it's for a customer. I'm gonna see if I can work out having my own rights to the video instead of selling it exclusive. But uh, this will be the precursor if he says yes. If he says no, let's hope he says yes. Deja vu. Deja vu I think that I've been here before with you I say deja vu Deja vu He looks like you Thanks for supporting the channel. As usual, go ahead and like, comment, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will do better next time vlogging the actual event because today I was like so nervous. And as you know, over water you can't land nowhere. So that was like on my mind, rancid. So I don't know if I use that word right. But seriously though, things are looking up and I'm actually at the spot I might freestyle next. So, you know, just taking in the scenery. Oh, uh, hoping to get some inspiration when I come over here. But like, share, subscribe, share again, and uh, bam. see you later.